Madeline. Hi guys. We're gonna do what we did once before, just sit here and eat food and talk about stuff because people actually really enjoyed that video. Yeah, that was good. So there's no plan. We're, she made some salad. Yeah. And what's Greek salad? salad? Her nana made some nice cacao. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna eat some salad and some bread, balance out yes. each other. Cause you know. I feel like I'm off. I haven't actually talked to my camera in a really long time. I'm going right I in. pre I pre filmed in January for the whole month of February. I don't know, I just feel like I forget how to talk to a camera. My she and haul was like not pre filmed though, because I had to film that. Mm -hmm. game. How much do I take? Take as much as you want. They got it made, how much are made? Oh yeah, so I never finished telling my story. But like I can't tell that on camera. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. Wait. Yes. Wait, any kind You said you didn't finish telling your story, but you can't tell anybody? I can't tell it on camera. Can we beep it out? That's fine. Okay, you're okay. okay. Be like back to the wall. I'm gonna look back. Mm -hmm. The thing I there is some idea address. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you notice that my hair is a different color than in real life. In general, I do have ginger undertones in my uh -huh. hair. They come out a lot when I'm outside. Cause like the sun reflects onto my head. I never noticed that. Wait, I'm gonna look at your Instagram right now. Okay, so I've been getting questions from a lot of people saying like really? why my hair is ginger in my pictures and in my videos it's brown. First of all, right the back. Oh my god, yeah, your hair is yeah. red. Okay, but in the picture, you look really good as a redhead. In the picture, before I edited the picture, my hair is ginger. Yeah, you but do like have red the, in it. the filter I put on, it, everything turns more red and pink. So that's why my hair is a different color. In my video, my pictures and my videos. Hmm. But yeah, my my mom's side of the family is blonde and strawberry blonde. That's yeah. true. I got called out. <laughs> Stop calling her out, bruh. That was gross. My dad's like yelling in the background, but he's on the phone. He thinks I can. No one can hear him. It's <laughs> Mar. Hmm. ASMR with the crunching. Oh my god. I eat so gross, so I feel like people are like, gonna be like, Oh, I'm such a gross eater. I'm very loud chewer. I oh. always wanted to be a loud chewer. That was like my goal in life. What? Or oh, I just, I love it. You're so weird. A lo I'm a loud chewer. My brother would like eat like lettuce that wasn't even crunchy. Like soft lettuce. And he'd be crunching so loud. And I'm like, I want to be like that. I just love it. But then I realized how insecure I am to eat in public now because my crunching is so loud. Why was that a why was that a goal for you? It's just it's so like satisfying to hear. It's so weird. I'm so loud in class. I'll be chewing on something and everyone can hear me chewing because I'm so loud. The worst was like when I have a carrot. Mm, I hate and that. It's like crunch and I'm like trying to like slowly crunch it, but just like makes it worse. Oh, that's the worst. First of all, this tastes like it came from a restaurant. I know. Salad. The I'm dressing so is so good. Isn't it good? It's the onion too that really helped me. Put mm -hmm. onion in things. It's so good. Isn't the feta good? I didn't yeah. put that much feta in it though. She can't really like. You can put more if you want. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good feta. That's from Costco. I think. I'm getting hot. I know I'm hot. It's hot in here because like there's skylights up here. I'm getting hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. What can we talk about? I don't know. Okay. But what's something to talk about that's going on right now? Oh, oh, and George Brown's coming back. <laughs> I know, I saw that. Were you ever a fan of them? I did, I went to their, um, but like not really, I've never been actually like a fangirl. Okay, like I was, that was my first fangirl experience with the Jonas Brothers. Really? I've never I've been to them. When? My mom, my dad got me tickets when I was younger. I've seen them twice, once when never no knew one that. knew who they were. Wait, I never knew you liked them. What? Oh yeah, you were part of my Justin Bieber phase. Mm hmm Um, but I've always like been friends with you since you were little. I, I know, but like you I became... think it's because I would talk about it with my other friends like in elementary school. Because like we used to be hard, poor Jonas Brothers fans. Like they used to have a Jonas Brother. Like do you remember we used to call celebrities, but like it was just like a fan mail message. They would never listen to them. We used to call celebrities. We used to call the Ashley Jonas Tizzle. Brothers. Yeah. Like, we used to call Ashley Tisdale. 
We used to call the German with my friends and sing their songs on the phone and mess up and hang up. But like we thought that it would never go through to them, but it did. So if they ever were to listen, they would just hear. Let's stop now. We have to restart and like. Why was oh that? I remember God. that, but why was it a thing? I don't even know how that started. Oh, uh, so they're coming back here. I don't know. They're just like doing comeback, but I think it's gonna. What they're gonna do is like come up with an album, do a tour, and mm -hmm. then stop. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna like continue. They shouldn't. Boy band shouldn't be a thing anymore. No but, like, I just I just want to come back just because I feel like they ended off so like all of a sudden. Yeah, he just kind of. I think it's because Justin Bieber came in the picture and mm -hmm. Justin Bieber ended the Jonas Brothers. Mm -hmm. As no one wants to say, Justin Bieber ended because of One Direction. Mm -hmm. Agreed. But I'm excited. Yeah. No, no, oh, no, we're not done. Dad. Do you eat it all? No, oh, that's my I love salad. So I text my mom and I'm like, mom. Okay, first of all, I was up downstairs in the kitchen. She was upstairs. So I text her mother with like a bunch of exclamation marks. Alert, I'm freaking out. So <gasps> after this, this all happened. She told me she was upstairs and she thought someone was breaking in. So she's like, oh my gosh, what do I do? I can't yell and be like, Juliana, what's wrong? So she texts me. She's like, what? I'm like, the Jordan brothers are coming back. She's like, I already heard her on the radio. So I send her a bunch of freaking out faces. I'm like, and you didn't tell me? Rude. That's rude. rude. And then she comes down. I was like, I thought someone broke in. You gave me a heart attack. I'm like, so why funny. didn't you tell me? She's like, oh, that's old news. I heard it on the radio. I thought you would have known by now. Your mom but yeah, I was so excited. I just saw you post on your story and I was like, oh, Joseph was coming back. I'm so excited. I had to post my story. Mm -hmm. um, the only people message me freaking out. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's, it'd be cool though, like, to go on like, I don't know, it's kind of seemed like your was, boy band that you used to love even Yeah, because I thought they were going to come back when I was like 30 and I was going to have to like take Our children with me. Yeah. <laughs> I was married with children. <laughs> but like, they were, did like a fake like little poster. It's like Jordan Fuller's tour 2020. It just sounds like so futuristic. Do you want to be in Juliana's video? Can you even see this the camera? Huh? Do you want to be on it? Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm a little tired of Juliana's video, to be honest with you. Juliana was smart. She showed me how to make some money on that shit. <laughs> No, it never helps me. <laughs> it's my dad's Yeah, you call? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Wait, that's on her. Wait, that her? What's up? That's how he talks to his mom. Yeah, so my nanny talks. Well, that's good. At least fine. nobody will know that, uh, you know, the FBI won't know where you guys are around. Maybe Did you go by Mildred's house? No, no, nobody called. How is Mildred these days? She's dead. Good? When did she She's die, dead. Mom? Okay. The so they bought a new there. GPS. Yeah. But apparently they thought that. Okay, I gotta go. Since it recorded their okay, conversation. Because okay, mm -hmm. you could talk back to yeah. them, they had to bring it back because they didn't want the FBI coming near them. <laughs> and then I'm at my grandparents' house the other day, and my nanny's cooking. She goes, fuck. She goes, you know, my favorite word in the English language is fuck. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are it in the dictionary. Mm-hmm. Do you hear that? No. You didn't hear that? What? I don't know, it just made my phone made it sound like it made a noise. It wasn't that <laughs> No, like are swear words in the dictionary? I think there's Okay, I need to look at a dictionary right now and find out. We'll find out. I have a story guys. Vulgar slang. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's actually in the dictionary. It is. What I've come up with? Yeah, that? but Urban Dictionary or the dictionary? The oh dictionary. my gosh, English by Oxford. That's the dictionary. Hey, <laughs> we talk about Astrid Over. <laughs> we love Astrid Over. I'm Astrid, so excited if you're to watching this. It'd be so nice. But she's pregnant. She's having a baby. She's having a baby girl. I found out she was pregnant. Like while I was at the mall, I texted her. I started freaking out. She's like, I already knew that. I'm like, why am I always so late on news? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one's here. I hope it looks like, you know, like Ollie, little baby. That baby's so cute. If their baby looks like that, oh my gosh. You watch their videos? They make videos? Yeah, they make videos too. But they're not like, a lot of people don't follow them, but they're actually really good YouTubers. I didn't know they made videos. They're so cute. They're such a cute family. That baby's adorable. Is it Parker's sister or Parker's brother? Parker's sister. I know they look related. They look like brother and sister. Mm -hmm. It's like weird. Um, do you watch KK and Baby J? 
Mm. Which one is that though? Is it is the blonde girl? Okay. Oh, I like them. I don't I don't watch them. I don't oh my gosh. Can we talk about them? Yeah. I don't Are we allowed a bathroom? Like what? Can we have I like see sure. my actual no one's gonna watch this? <laughs> you know that. Okay. She's hot. This video's gonna get a lot of likes right now because we're about to say. So we watch KK and Baby J. Well, I watch KK and Baby J. I used to really like them in the beginning. Not anymore. Why not? They're not the same. Look like, what's different. They just don't seem real. Mm. If that makes sense. I find the other ones annoying. Like the husband. Yeah. You know what? There's someone here buying a mattress. My dad put a mattress on Kijiji, my old mattress. Why do they buy each those mattresses? Yeah, people buy mattresses. It's weird. We just put it on yesterday. So I'm working over to like bring it up. Mm -hmm. To help my dad bring it up. Well, serious. That's funny. So I guess he sold it in a day. That's what's exciting about my life. It's so sour. This last bite was I so know. sour. There's a, my, I know because it's like in the, the vinegar and the oil for a while. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, I watched this movie that Chenzo made me watch. I'm going to talk about it too. Yeah. Okay, you talk first. No, you talk first. Mine's not important. The Umbrella. Umbrella. The Umbrella My Academy. dad watches it. Everyone needs to watch this show. It's so good. It's about? It's, okay, it's kind of sci-fi and like it's superhero. Super, I don't like superheroes. But it's not superheroes. It's not. Like, it's just like you really like it, I think. I hate superheroes. It's a really strong storyline and strong characters that it makes it really good. That's what I think. Interesting. Mm -hmm. We can show them my bedroom. Oh, yeah. I can show you guys my bedroom. Oh, yeah. I sold your mattress. <laughs> you did it in a day. Sold it in a day. They must have found out that the princess owned it. <laughs> so Vincenzo made me watch this movie. It's called The House That Jack Built. You ever heard of it? No. It's messed up. It's basically about this guy. I don't know if he was a killer before, but he's in a car. And he, there's a girl on the side of the road. She's like so creepy. And she's like, oh, my car broke down. Can you help me? And he didn't want to help her. She gets in his car and she's like, you know, really, this is the perfect situation if you ever wanted to kill me. And he's like so weirded out. Cause she's like, why does this girl want me to kill her? And she's like, think about it. No one knows I'm here. No one knows who you are. I don't even know who you are. There's like a forest right here. You can take me into the forest right now and kill me. Look, you have this hammer right now. You can get this hammer and kill me. Mm -hmm. And like... This guy's like, this girl's like messed up. Like, what is she talking about? So they go to this place to get her car fixed. And then he's driving her back. And she's still going on and on about like how you, you should kill me, blah, blah. He gets so sick of her that he picks up a hammer and kills her. <gasps> then he turns into this huge serial killer killing people. He kills like so many people. And then the ending is like so messed up. <laughs> You're fucked, Julia. So different, but like it's very interesting, but it's so I had to stop watching it at one point and like watch it the next day because it was so gruesome Did you watch Dear John? Yeah, not Dear John. <laughs> Dirty John. <laughs> Dirty John. No, that's creepy. What is that? You need to watch it It's like the same type of like story, not the same type of story And I was it. interested to see if this was a true story This guy killed so many people. I know the biggest thing is this guy Like he wanted to get caught, but no one like with Noah's him and he has OCD so like he mm -hmm. kills someone goes in their house cleans it and then he's literally sitting on the driveway like with her her body tied to his car he's like oh my gosh like, I forgot to clean the blood so he goes in like 30 different times to go in and clean it when there's nothing there a cop ends up showing up his body the body's tied to the back of the car the cop doesn't even see it I like, it's so that. messed up and then the, his whole point is no one can catch me so I'm just gonna keep doing it but it was hard to watch I had to stop watching it I don't like that. It was so messed up. No watching that for me. It was very delicious. Yeah. You actually made such a good salad. I'm so good at salad making. How'd you make it? Tell them what you did. So what I do is I take um, lettuce. You can take whatever one. We used an iceberg lettuce. I like romaine too. Iceberg is good with Greek dressing. I agree with that. If you're making a Greek salad, it's always good to use an iceberg. So what I did was I cut that up. Some onion. I usually like using green onion because it has a really nice flavor. But we didn't have any. So just use a regular white onion. Probably both this month. It's like, like half a small onion. It no, was, it was a full onion. It was a small onion, but a full was, small onion. Really but it also depends on like, what you're making. Almost, it was like kind of like a big shallot. What did I use? I used an onion. I just said it about five times, but I used an onion. <laughs> and Wait, what kind of onion? A white onion. And it doesn't really matter what type of onion you need. And then just feta. And then tomatoes. And you can add your cucumber, whatever you want. And then for the dressing, I use white balsamic dressing of vinegar with oil, garlic powder, 
oregano, salt, and that's it. And it tastes good. It was good. It was really good. Oh, and I forgot, like, the most important thing. You get, like, a little bit of a, a lemon, and you just, like, sprinkle that on top. I bet even, like, lemon zest would taste good. Mm -hmm. If you, like, did, like, a jarred mix and yeah. then you pour it on top. That would be good. Do that. I'm okay. satisfied. I feel great. I've been eating a lot of junk food. I was telling her I eat way too many hot Cheetos. Mm -hmm. oh, they're so good. Okay, so remember that video I made a talk about eating those oh, like that's four my favorite video. crunch wraps? So talk about brought back the crunch wrap with the Cheetos inside. Ew. I want it so bad. I've never had talk Let's go get it right now. <laughs> I'll watch you eat it. No, I can't eat right now. I'll throw up. I'm like full. But I really want to get it. Oh, it's so good. The thing is, they're kind of like soggy in it. So you had to eat it right away. Wait, there's Cheetos inside it? It's yeah. not made. I thought like the, the wrap itself was made with a hot no, Cheeto wrap. No, it's like a crunch wrap, but they're smaller than the regular crunch wraps. And they stuff Cheetos inside. That's gross. But the thing is, when I ate it, like for that video, I ate it like 30 minutes later. So they were so soggy inside. You need it like right away where it's crunchy. Ew. Oh, no. Yeah, I'll put it in the dishwasher. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.